Now, from the fifth floor Cumulus Studios in downtown Dallas, it's time for Inside Real Estate. Here's your host, Michael Krasinga. Good morning, Texas. How we doing out there? Welcome to your Sunday morning. Get an extra hour of sleep today, so... Hope you're feeling good this morning. Hope you make us a part of your every Sunday morning. We're on 8 to 9 live every Sunday. Uh, as you know, we talk a little bit about real estate, sports, politics, all kinds of things. We talk about business. And uh, we, of course, hope you think about us when you're thinking about doing certain things in business when it relates to what we do, which is in real estate, um, insurance, mortgage, and then, of course, all of our partners as well. Um don't forget, website InsideRealEstateRadio.com, InsideRealEstateRadio.com. And you can connect with us there and then all of our social media websites and uh, catch all of our articles that we put on our Pinterest page, catch the archive page. Uh, had a really good interview last week with uh, Jeff Benedict, the co-author of QB, My Life Behind the Spiral, which is the Steve Young story. And he really does have an amazing story. And so if you missed that interview, I would catch it on the archive page and, of course, we're also on SoundCloud and iTunes, so if you prefer that type of platform, you can catch the podcast there, and uh, or if you'd prefer YouTube, you can become a subscriber there as well. So all that jazz right there for you. So uh, we've got a great story, a uh, great show for you today. We've got Terry and Mortgage Talk. We've got Richard here in studio for Insurance Talk. We're going to do some... Uh, we're going to talk about walk-in tubs today because, uh, you know, we all are going to experience a fall at some point in our life, especially as we age. And so... Not it, me. You will. <laughs> <laughs> Statistics show you will. So you will. And I will. We all will. And so as we get older, we might want to be thinking about those walk-in tubs. So we're going to talk about that with Randy, owner of Hydrojet Walk-In Tubs, later in the show. And if uh, Brian and Karen uh, from Lone Star Transfer make it into the studio today, we're going to be talking with them. Because we all know somebody who has uh, had a uh, timeshare experience that is less than desirable and more than likely they're trying to get out of it. And um, it's very difficult to do. And so we've uh, partnered with a, a great group in Lone Star Transfer. And uh, they are helping many, many people get out of their timeshare uh, absolute dire situations. So we're going to do, do that a little later on. Before we get there, we didn't really do a lot of headlines. Last week, I spent most of my opening last week ranting about Elephant Insurance <laughs> because of uh, their horrible service. And by the way, that has not been resolved yet. <laughs> uh, just for those wow. who are keeping track of what we talk about every week. And um, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. But listen, if you've got those guys, and look, I just had a little fender bender with one of their insured. It was their fault. They admitted fault. A uh, little $2,400 fender bender. If they're taking over a month to deal with that, imagine if it was a real serious claim, you know, with your home or a serious claim with your vehicle, uh, you know, anything major. I mean, if they're going to dilly dally for a $2,400 claim uh, and take over a month and it's still not resolved on a fender bender, man, what happened? Well, you know, what if they were one of those people that, uh, you know, were near your neighborhood, your neck of the woods, you know, when the twisters, you know, ran exactly. through, you know, imagine that type of experience. So, and this is not even a contested case. Yeah. You're the, the party that ran into you admitted fault. Yeah. So it, what are they waiting on? I don't know. I mean, they are insured. They admitted fault. What else do you need? Wow. You figure I, that's I, open and shut right there. It, yeah. It's mm. So I don't know. So, folks, if you are with Elephant Insurance and you haven't had any issues with them and you're like, oh, my God, is that true? Yes. Well, it is true. And uh, I hope nothing bad happens to you. But if it does, you want to be insured with the right folks. And so you, you might want to call Richard and get taken care of at Goosehead. Uh, by the way, his website's richardtagency.com. So there you go. That's that. And we didn't get to the highlights, uh, headlines last week, but there was a lot of them we had on the Pinterest page. I think we had like 32. There was a bunch. Yeah, like 32 some odd headlines on there. It was a good week last week, but I didn't get to any, <laughs> any of it. Um, let's let's talk a little bit of politics. Of course, we've got uh, election coming up on Tuesday. So finally, we'll get through all of this nonsense and be done with it, I guess. And then we can start talking about the next four years which is, I guess, what everybody does. And I still can't believe that you have not voted. Terry and I have voted. Yes. I'm voting on Tuesday. You know, yes, I, unless the line's too long. 
No, so, I will. I'll have to wait in it. But uh, so I did try. So, in other words, we won't be able to get a hold of you at all on Tuesday then. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll, I'll be parked. That's right. <laughs> I'll be parked over there. Because they don't let you use your cell phone in line. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, so I, I guess, yeah. Yeah, you can't get me on Tuesday. That's right. Taking the day off. Yeah, I thought I had <laughs> mine on to vote. So, call us and we'll... we'll We'll get a message to Mike. That's right. Call Terry and Richard <laughs> instead. I went by a couple times, and the early voting was just seemed too busy. And so I was like, all right, well, I usually vote early. I almost always do, almost always. I can't remember the last time I actually voted on Election Day, but, you know, it's been a while. But I guess I'll uh, get to experience that again. So I love voting on Election Day myself. I do, too. And, I, in fact, I usually take my daughter with me so that she'll know the process and everything. But... Now that we got an eighteen-month-old, my wife's like, "Okay, we got to leave him at home. We got to get in and out and get voted quickly." <laughs> Daddy, why are there five thousand <laughs> signs in front of this building? That's right. <laughs> what is all this nonsense? I'm so confused. <laughs> You're right. You're right, kiddo. Uh, just wait until you grow up. Um, hey, for those of you voting in Arlington, remember the stadium deal. We're voting on that, and we've talked a lot about that on the show. And I and I hope. You know, even though we are the friendliest voters in the world in Arlington, I hope you think about this one. You know, we've got a 22-year-old stadium. Uh, we don't really need to knock it down and uh, build a new one. Uh, we just built the Cowboys Stadium, by the way, uh, which was uh, finished up in 09. And um, just want to dispel some some absolute lies. And it's you know, you, we even see the mayor, you know, coming on with these commercials. Have you seen some of the Mayor Jeff Williams commercials? Absolute politician. Um, and <laughs> they're pretty funny. You should look them up, actually. Um, first of all, there's no other bidders for the Texas Rangers. So nobody's going to steal the Rangers. Nobody, you know, not that nobody might not want the Rangers. It's they can't afford them, can't make the deal happen, can't figure it out to make it happen. So there are no other bidders for the Rangers. And that's just the you know, bottom line fact so they're not going anywhere so if you're thinking oh my god i gotta vote yes otherwise the texas rangers are gonna leave arlington oh my god well that's not true so just so you know do your homework on that uh number two that economic impact we've been promised for both the first stadium and then the cowboy stadium we haven't seen it if you've driven around arlington roads <laughs> they're a wreck and they're continuing to be a wreck um, so that economic impact, we haven't felt that. Um, you know, we haven't built a new school in forever, and our schools are in dire need of assistance. So we might want to spend money there before another stadium. Just a thought, and other city services like police and fire, etc. We have aging city services like you wouldn't believe in the city of Arlington. And uh, but uh, I guess we need a new stadium after 22 years. So think about that when you vote on that. Know the. You know, know it. I mean, honestly, if if Jeff Williams is was in another city, maybe not with the most friendliest voters in all of America. You know, honestly, this is the type of thing that would cause a recall. It re really would. So, uh, I think in any other city, some you know the voters might be thinking, you know, what in the heck is this guy doing? You know, recall. But when it comes to sports, you know, Arlington voters are friendly, and I'm all about having our Rangers and our Cowboys right here in Arlington. But uh, you know, we want to do things uh, wisely and. Be good stewards of uh, the the dollar. So, anyway, but that's just, not the government way. Then no, it's not. <laughs> they, they are bad stewards of our money, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> no doubt about that. Um, what a great World Series! Seven games. Oh wow! Wasn't that amazing? My and, husband uh, they, was pacing. Yeah, <laughs> he was just pacing. And I watched every single game. Yes. I, and you know, I don't necessarily watch all baseball all year long because it's such a long season. But when it comes down to the end. Definitely will see it, and I watched all seven games, and so surprised to see the Cubbies come back after a three to one awesome. uh, deficit. Yeah, so awesome, awesome series, just it, all around. It really was. And David Ross uh, hit that home run in Game Seven. The old man who's retiring. Yes, and it was kind of nice to see him do that after he. he it looked like he was, <laughs> he got hit in the head, you know, with that one wild pitch, and then he fell down. I was like, whoa, and he's actually suffered concussions in his past. And uh, I was like, uh-oh, he, you know, he looked a little wobbly there. But then he came back and knocked one out of the park. And I was like, that's pretty sweet for him, even though I was actually rooting for the Indians on this go-round. I was going to say, I always root for the American League. And I think I've seen – I saw two minutes of the World Series this year. Oh, wow. That's it? Yeah. Unacceptable. You throw a football game. I don't care who's playing. I'm watching that. <laughs> right. 
I know, it, it, but it was pretty, you know, it was actually pretty good. It was pretty exciting. It was a pretty good World Series, all in all. Right. Uh, it really was, so I enjoyed it. Uh, what else we got politics-wise? You know, hey, uh, Judge Pirro, you know, who has a uh, show on Fox News, Judge Janine Pirro, and is also a Fox contributor. She actually uh, finally came out and said, yes, the Clinton Foundation is an organized crim- criminal enterprise. Uh, talking about RICO. Uh, she's talking about, <laughs> talking about Clinton. She's like, she's the capo and you know, they got the consigliere and you know what? That's Loretta Lynch, you know? <laughs> and so she was pretty funny. And, uh, actually one of, finally one of the mainstream people actually is just coming out and saying, you know what this, yeah, this is, is Rico and, and absolutely Clinton foundation <laughs> is criminal. So all those people who wrote about that in all of their books, you know, for over the past two years, you know, many of those authors we had on the show, uh, you know, finally some of the mainstream people coming along as well. And, uh, I guess facts are hard things to dispute it eventually, you know, eventually they, they go along with those facts. So that was just kind of funny. Uh, she's got a funny show too. She does. I enjoy watching her. Yeah. She's a very, very good show. Um, you know, uh, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, as <laughs> we've known for many years over in Arizona, outspoken sheriff out there. Well, of course, George Soros is uh, trying to get rid of him and uh, has been uh, throwing many millions at the Maricopa Strawn pack and uh, hoping to try to get rid of Arpaio out of there. And uh, he's backing actually a lot of candidates in particular, and he's saying this flat out. He's not even hiding it. Um, Him and his people are saying that, uh, you know, we're trying to find uh, those in office that, um, you know, are – going to be lenient they don't want to reduce sentencing particularly for drug traffickers so isn't that a good thing and of course they want to reduce incarceration rates and then uh, they're worried about the uh, racial disparities in sentencing across the country so uh, evidently we have too many drug traffickers that uh, you know don't line up demographically for George Soros and uh, you know he wants to make sure that we get uh uh, all those folks who are drug trafficking off easy, you know, and so they can get back to the streets, you know. I mean, hey, they got they got to make some money on the streets. You know, we got drug trafficking to do. And so, hey, George Soros, thank you for contributing to all the folks who are going to be lenient on crime. And, uh, you know, thank you for doing that all across the nation. We really appreciate you for that. <laughs> so he's the new Judge Salty. He, he, well, he's been doing it behind the scenes for a long time. He's just starting to, I guess – Put it in print. Just be open about it, <laughs> right. I guess. So um, this was a really horrible story. Um, and I really hate to bring it out on a Sunday morning, but I just figured we had to mention it. Um, you know, they have these honor killings, you know, all the time. And did you see, I don't know if you saw this one, two Pakistani men, uh, 40-year-old sister, I gotta take a deep breath on this one. I was gonna say I hadn't hey, heard this one. Cut her eyes out. Oh my, my gosh! Chopped off her feet. And this thing happens all the time. This was this is in Pakistan. This was an honor killing. And uh, of course, you know, if you're female and you disgrace the family, uh, in most Muslim countries, you know, pretty much the men of the family can do whatever they want to you. Right. And so well, this is just another example of that. And uh, just a horrible story. We've got to, we're going to have a link to it on the Pinterest page so you can get to that as well as all the stories we talk about. But unbelievable. So what happens if a man dishonors his family? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't know that there is dishonor when it comes to uh, they don't they don't view it that way. Yeah. Okay. Nothing is dishonorable. Doesn't seem like. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it, wouldn't that not be dishonorable? Well, I would think. In our culture, it would be. Yeah. You know, but that's unbelievable. And, of course, you know, supposedly they're, you know, looking for these guys. They know who they are, obviously. They're family members. They know who they are. But at the end of the day, most of these go untried. They don't Mm -hmm. go to court or anything like that. It just, you know, it's like it just happens, you know. And nobody, uh, not even their own family members, uh, are looking out after their own so very frustrating to see that sort of thing, and uh, you know, like I said, I hate to mention that type of thing, especially on a you know bright Sunday morning. We want to be happy, yes. But you know, bad things happen, and it, it's good to remember that these types of things are happening all over the world, and 
you know, but then you have folks like the Clinton Foundation saying that they're trying to do this, that, and, and the other in other places, but they're sucking money in from all over the place, but yet they're not using it to do anything good. So just to be aware of that out there. Right. Well, they're making themselves richer. That's good oh, for absolutely. them. Absolutely. Yes, they are. And they're doing a good job at that. <laughs> they're doing a really good job at that. So you got to give them kudos for that. So, hey, folks, we're going to take a short break. Uh, come on back in a few. When it comes to your mortgage and refinance needs, trust Terry Wagner, our resident mortgage expert on Inside Real Estate Radio. With a wide range of financing options and competitive interest rates, you can trust Terry for a fast and reliable loan process with superior service. Go to terrywagner.com or 469-644-4818 today. Supreme Lending is an equal housing lender. NMLS ID number 207089, 6730 Horizon Road, Suite B, Heath, Texas, 75032. SML Mortgage Banker Registration, Residential Mortgage Loan Originator. Folks, it's Mike Rizinga here with Inside Real Estate Sports Entertainment on 570 AM KLIF. Did you know that virtually all of us will experience a fall in the bathtub at some point in our life? Well, statistically, it's true. As we get older, a fall in the bathtub can spell disaster as we just can't recover the same as we did in our younger years. Don't let something as silly and preventable as a bathtub fall put an end to all your special plans you have lined up for your golden years. Invest in a HydroJet walk-in bathtub. Made in the USA and with the lowest step in the industry, HydroJet walk-in tubs has your best interest at heart. With no commission sales staff or huge warehouse overhead they build and sell direct to you saving you thousands of dollars over their competitors call randy my friend and owner of hydrojet walk-in tubs at 855-980-8827 or go to hydrojetwalkintubs.com you'll be able to speak with randy directly and make sure to mention you heard about it on the radio and for you veterans out there there's a grant available for you to cover the majority of the cost of a walk-in tub making it darn near free call randy at 855-980-8827 or go to hydrojetwalkintubs.com today now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey folks, we are back. Inside Real Estate Radio.com's the website. Time to do a little inside real estate and mortgage talk. We got Terry Wagner right here from uh, Supreme Lending Rockwall. Her website, TerryWagner.com, TerryWagner.com. And of course you can go right there and apply for your loan right there, uh, and then uh, you can get in touch with Terry, and she can take care of you. Send me messages. I'll answer questions. You don't have to apply right away. Um, a lot of people like to just have a conversation, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. We can certainly do that. Um, but, yes, you can actually apply right there online. Yes, you can. If you'd like. Absolutely. We'll get started. Well, what's going on in mortgage today? And we might even, when you make an application, we might even talk about a mortgage credit certificate, better known as an MCC. All We've right. We've talked about this before, but not for a while, so I thought I'd bring it back up again. Very good. A mortgage credit certificate is just that. It's a certificate that you can use after you close on your home loan to turn Actually, I found out there's two different ways you can do this, but the most common is you take this certificate to your HR person at your company and you actually reduce the taxes that you pay, the federal taxes that you pay um, to realize a higher income or a a higher net income to you each paycheck. Okay. Um, So the maximum that you can get is $2,000 a year. Or $166.67 a month. So what we're, what we're using that for a lot lately is, you know, there's no, there's no housing available for folks in the lower price range. Right. 100 to 150, there's just nothing out there available for these guys to buy. And if that's what they qualify for, there's nothing um, so we're we're applying these MCCs that actually allow them to qualify for a little bit more in a house payment, and it kind of opens up um, some some more listings for them to go look at. Yeah, increase so, that price range right. a little bit. Right. So we've used that a couple of times um, this past week. So I thought it, well, that's a good thing to talk about. Let's let's see if we can get some more people on board with that. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, an MCC is again up to two thousand dollars a year credit that you get. Now again. Let's go back for a second. You can apply for it just once a year when you do your federal or your uh, tax returns. You can do it that way or you can do it the monthly way and turn it into your HR person. This is something that you can only use owner-occupied 
primary residency and you have to be a first time home buyer. What's first time home buyer? Well, it depends on the program. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer, Mike. Good that's answer. right. That's... But typically it is if you haven't owned a home in the last three years, you're considered a first-time home buyer. Even if you owned one 10 years ago and you sold it and you've been renting and now you want to try to buy again, you're, you're a first-time home buyer. Um, it's only on a purchase. We cannot put this on a refi. So it's only on a purchase. Um, first-time home buyer, you have to take the uh, education that, that they set forth for us because they want they want to make sure that you know what it is that you're signing up for. Um, there is a small fee that's added to your closing costs of $500, but your first year you're still netting $1,500 to the better. Mm. Um, and then this is something that continues as you stay in that house. So it's not just for the first year that you're going to get this tax credit. You would you would get it each year thereafter, but it's going to be adjusted based on your principal amount owed. Okay. So, so does it last for the lifetime of the loan? It does, as long as, as, long as you as stay in, in that house. Um, it, it lasts for the lifetime of the loan, and it will go off of your principal balance. And oh, there's a fantastic. formula that they use based on your interest rate, and it's a 40% tax credit. Okay? Now, there is a recapture tax if you if you utilize this program. So if, if you have the MCC and um, all of these apply, you sell your home within the first nine years after closing. There's a profit made on that home, and your income increases by 5% or more each year. Then there's a recapture tax, and there's a calculation that they determine. So you may have additional monies added to the your payoff is right. what that would Day equate closing, to. Yeah. yeah, right. Um, We talked about the five... Five hundred dollar fee, um, and and again, a lot of times what we use this for too is um, if we want to better the debt ratio. Like if we if you're already on a home and something's come up, you forgot to tell us you paid child support or something along those lines. Um, we can add the mortgage credit certificate onto the program that will lower your debt ratio. So we can use it in that way. We can also combine it with our down payment assistance programs that we use. Um, so, and we've talked about those before too. You've got uh, the T Shack, and we've got Seth, and TDHCA is a little different than the other two um, in the fact that it does have to be repaid. Um, T Shack and Seth do not have to be repaid, but we can combine the MCC with any of those three down payment assistance programs and it might depend on you know everybody's situation as to which program is going to work best oh, yeah. best for them right right we can combine it with um uh, uh, like when you're um well I lost my train of thought so so you can use an mcc no matter what your credit score is so let's say you don't qualify for the down payment assistance because your credit score is below a 640 we can, there is no credit score requirement when it comes to MCC. There is an income requirement because it's designed to assist the low income borrowers. Um, so we can use that uh, on, on if, if, you're, if you're low income, we can use the MCC. So we have right. to look at that, just like we have to look at it when we're using the down payment assistance. Okay. Okay. Well, a lot of great programs, you know, for the folks that, you know, our first time buyers legitimately, and it's your first house ever, you know, or, you know, it, you fall into that criteria of being what is considered a first time buyer right. at this point. So a lot of programs that can get you in uh, zero down. And then of course, you know, when we're in such a tough market, like we are right now, we are in a tough the, market, you know, a lot of folks, you know, it used to be people come to us all the time, 150, 160, $170,000 house. That's what they want. And that's what they can qualify for. Right. Well, that house is rapidly not existing anymore. Right. Particularly here, here in the DFW area. So, uh, you know, you, we, need, we need to either bump you up, you know, we need to maybe look at your finances a little bit more. You know, what do you need to get rid of? What, you know, what, you, uh, what debt you need to get rid of to be in a position to increase your level. Plus, look at the MCC. Right. We've which, used this uh, a couple of times this week for just that exact situation. We, we've... They've been looking for a house for six months in this price range. 
there's nothing there. Yeah. Every time they make a bid on something, they lose out to someone else, usually an investor. Right. Um, and and because it's a cash deal and we don't have a cash deal, we've got to go 30 days for closing. So you're going to lose out yeah. um, in that price range. So we, we can bump it up just a little bit and miraculously we're able to find a home in them. It, it, just bumping it up twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in your price range can make a huge difference. Yeah, it does. The number of properties open up. And then also, honestly, the number of buyers, you know, starts to go down a little bit. Right. So the number of listings come up, you know, it's, it's the good, <laughs> it's the good numbers that you're looking for. Right. You know, it puts things a little bit more in your favor. So maybe you're not in a multiple offer situation, or at least you can be, you know. A little more competitive. Competitive. Absolutely. And not every lender is going to offer this MCC. Or so, even know what it is. Or even know what it is. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, I. Even if you've been pre-qualified with someone else and they don't offer this program, come on over to the to the bright side. <laughs> come That's on over right. to Supreme Lending. <laughs> That's right. And um, and we can we can utilize this program to help you get into a home, hopefully soon. Yeah. And 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 we'll probably switch over to Mike. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we'll try. <laughs> well, they might need to. Yeah. They may need to. They might and need to. And they very well may need to. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you know we do care, uh, and and not that other people out there don't care. It's just they might not necessarily care as much and they may not have the knowledge and experience to care in the way that we can care. Well, and you know, and I heard this a couple of times this week too, where I get the comments, Terry, you, you really, it feels like you care about what I'm going through here um, because you've stuck with me for six, nine months. There's not a whole lot of mortgage loan officers that are going to call you six months later and say, hey, are you still looking for a house? Yeah. You know, what can I do to help? Let's look at this avenue. Let's look at this program. What? Let's figure out a way to change this box that you're in mm -hmm. because it's not working. Right. So let's let's figure something else out. Yeah. I mean, in fact, somebody that we had been on the same file with for a while, and I think it's probably been a year and a half now, maybe even two, I'm not sure, but because she's – Resigned at least a few times. Uh, <laughs> a few times. I think I know who you're talking about. Um, latest from her is like she's thinking t early 2017. She's she's wanting to work on something, you know. But that's just a good example of you know we're still in touch, right? And right. you know we're still caring, you know. And and she's got things going on in her life and, and working on things and but uh, you know as everybody does. And but we're here when you're ready. And I like working, you know, with these people like that because because you know that they're 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 good just. They're just good people. Mm -hmm. And and those are the kind of people that I like working with, even if it takes us a little longer for us to get them in a house. Yeah. Well, it's always, you know, more fulfilling to kind of help somebody that's, you know, they think they're not going to be able to get into a home, right. you know, and it, it is that magic of home ownership that we do like to see, you know, for just, you know, the average person, you know, and it's not to say that we don't do business with, you know, the luxury clients sure. on a regular basis. We do that and that's fulfilling as well. Right. You know, but yeah. You know, they know what they usually they want, you know, and and that's just it's just an easier situation all around for the right. most part. You know, not that it's not fun going to find that house that's, you know, that 8000 square foot house. Right. And it's, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, really impacting on someone's life and, and you know helping them when they thought they weren't going to be able to own a home. I think that really makes a, a, a big difference in our lives, you know, helping them do that. And I think for people listening out there, if they can hear that honesty that, you know, we really do enjoy doing that, and uh, um, so maybe they'll think about giving us a call. I hope so. Letting, I us, hope letting so. us earn their business. Because I do I do like working with folks like that. You remember them for years and years. Yeah, absolutely. So I even put them on my Facebook page and well, follow them. There you go. <laughs> I love doing that. And, and you're going to invite them to uh, Thanksgiving, <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. That's right. <laughs> Although. Maybe. Yeah, probably not. No, all right. <laughs> Maybe not. I'll meet them for lunch, though. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, another uh, good segment, Talking Mortgage with Terry. Hey, her website's terrywagner.com, terrywagner.com. You can get all the information you need there, but then just give her a call because she's fun to talk to. You're going to have a blast with her. It's not going to be, oh, so boring just getting a mortgage. Not only does she know all the good stuff she needs to know, but she's fun to talk to. You'll have a blast working with her. And uh, highly recommend it. TerryWagner.com is the website. And hey, folks, uh, come on back in a few. 
Far from the shores of home, two African-American U.S. Army privates fight for their lives on the battlefronts of World War II. The first black war correspondents fight to cover the perspective of the black soldier. The novel A Private War it weaves all this and more into an epic World War II era story of friendship, conflict, religion, and redemption. Get a copy of Private War, a novel by Perry Cockrell today, now available on Amazon.com. And tune in regularly to Inside Real Estate Sundays, 8 to 9 a.m. to hear Perry Cockrell, attorney at law, as he provides expert analysis of the latest and greatest in legal news. When it comes to your mortgage and refinance needs, trust Terry Wagner, our resident mortgage expert on Inside Real Estate Radio. With a wide range of financing options and competitive interest rates, you can trust Terry for a fast and reliable loan process with superior service. Go to terrywagner.com or 469-644-4818 today. Supreme Lending is an equal housing lender. NMLS ID number 207089, 6730 Horizon Road, Suite B, Heath, Texas, 75032. SML Mortgage Banker Registration, Residential Mortgage Loan Originator. Living in the DFW area, expansive clay soil and extreme weather conditions play havoc on Homes Foundation. But thankfully, you can turn to Permapure Foundation Repair of Texas, who has successfully repaired over 20,000 properties and counting in the DFW area. With the most trusted tried-and-true foundation repair methods, trust the professional staff of Permapure Foundation Repair to take care of your property, and most repairs are backed by a lifetime transferable warranty. Mention Inside Real Estate Radio when calling Permapure at 214-637-1444 or when booking online at permapure.com for your Inside Real Estate Radio discount. Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Idaho folks, we are back. Inside Real Estate, sports, entertainment, politics. Time to talk some insurance. We got Richard Tonica right here from the Goosehead Insurance brand here in the DFW area, right smack dab in the middle of the heart of the Metroplex in Arlington. His website, richardtagency.com, richardtagency.com. Mr. Richard Tonica, how are you? I'm doing well. I didn't know we were going to talk about insurance today. I just came here to just kind of joke around and... Hang out? <laughs> yep. We always love it when you come on down to the studio, <laughs> hang out, and shoot the breeze with us, you know? And uh, we can talk a little insurance if you want to. Yes. And in, in fact, uh, what I wanted to do today was talk about... when. Talk about water damage because we're always talking about how much and the likelihood that water damage is going to affect each and every one of us. Yep. And kind of compare one of my carriers. Now, I've got over 20 different ca carriers that I'll, I'll shop everyone with, but we're just going to take one and we're going to compare them with USAA, State Farm, Farmers, and just kind of, and it's an unbiased comparison because I go to OPIC uh opic.texas.gov and it gives you the ability to compare the different home policies that way you can not every home policy and i know i've said this before many times not every home policy is the same and they aren't all they're not all created equal right even if they're all ho3s or hobs and we can get into that at a later date but <clears throat> there are basically Four different kinds of water damage, or, well, I'm going to say four. Uh, sudden accidental, which is a pipe burst, or something happens to your to your washing machine, your dishwasher, a pipe burst, and you've got sudden and accidental water, and or steam, which just about every carrier is going to cover on an HO3 or an HOB, and so you're good with that. Where you start getting into, this is not covered, this is not covered, or you have this option of adding this, or you, you can do this, and it's limited. When you have an insurance company or a person telling you that this coverage is limited, every coverage on your homeowner's insurance policy is limited. They have numbers, and that's the limit that they're going to pay you. No one is going to give you unlimited money on a home insurance policy. Every coverage is limited. And so, uh, the second type is, uh, so you got sudden and accidental, uh, you got slow leak and then you've got water backup, water backup and sub pump. And then you, I'm counting flood as another kind of water damage, but we're going to kind of talk about all four, uh, sudden and accidental. We, we've already talked about sub pump and water backup. It, it it depends on which carrier you're, you're talking about, but basically it is when the sewer is backing up into your house. That is a terrible day. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> uh, it's in every, 
most carriers have it to where you can add it by endorsement. But we're going to talk about the comparisons in a little bit. But there are some company or some policies, HOBs usually are the only ones that will add it into the policy to begin with. But they, even if it's an HLB, that does not mean that they are going to automatically add it into the policy. It's going to be something that you add. And you usually do it in increments of $5,000. Normally, you'll see it at $5,000, but you can see it more. And depending on where you're at, if you're at the top of a hill and all the pipes are going down, do you need it? Probably not. You're going to have every insurance agent that is going to try and put that on there. But I everyone's everyone's position is going to be unique to them right. and so you may need it because you're at the bottom of a hill and you're more likely to have your pipes back up into your house where if i'm at the top of the hill yeah the chances of that happening aren't likely at all and so i'm not going to put it on my house now if you're looking at uh if you have a septic system yes it's a, it's a no-brainer you put it on there you don't even think twice about it it's automatic exactly and and then you also have foundation coverage, which is they're going to come in if you with all the with all of the ground shifting and everything with the different houses. It's more than likely that you're going to have some kind of water or pipe burst at the foundation where it's getting all the friction from the house moving, even though you may not feel it, and it's doing it over the gradually over the course of time, but it ends up tearing away at those pipes and ends up causing first and going in first off you're going to have to jackhammer your foundation to get to the pipe mm -hmm. to fix the problem then you're going to have to repair the foundation again and <clears throat> i live in a house where the people that <laughs> owned my house before i did did not have this coverage because the foundation was not repaired and we uh when we were replacing the floors we found out just how bad it was and then we had to have the foundation repaired before we put the new floors in and it was just you just scratching your hand just like you got to be kidding me yeah really <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to just cover this up with a little dirt and just move on but it, it's it's funny that stuff like that happens but it and it does w and we all have a budget and we we're going to get things repaired as best we can and get it taken care of and that was as good i guess that was as good as they could get it taken care of before we purchased the house but well, since then yeah and that's the important thing about making sure you've got the right type of coverage exactly because it, i mean if you didn't if if they had that coverage they wouldn't have had to worry about anything it would have been taken care of for them right but having the wrong agent or having the wrong policy or not adding the coverages that you think or that you should have mitigates or kind of causes you to cut corners here and there because you don't have another choice and that's my job is to make it sure make sure that you have the coverage that you need so you don't have to make those hard decisions of oh we're gonna have dinner tonight but we can't do it tomorrow because we got to take care of this so yeah i mean people spend more time thinking about you know what movie they're gonna go see what you know movie they're gonna watch on netflix you know, more time on, you know, where do we want to eat, you know, tonight. Then they do on their insurance of the most major asset that they own. You yes. Know, you need to spend, seriously, people, you need to spend like a day. Just take a day every year, the same day every year, and just, you know, go through financials, go through insurance, go through all of these things. And then, you know what, do it regularly. Do it on the same day every year, something. Because if you're undercovered with your house and you don't find out until something happens, it is too late. Exactly. And one of the things that, I mean, as we go through this, I'm going to get into it real quick because I don't know how much time I have today. No mucho. Okay. <laughs> uh, so when you're looking at sudden accidental, I'm going to compare uh, Kemper Preferred, State Farm, USAA, and, Tex uh, and Farmers. And for sudden and accidental, everyone says yes. For... Kemper Preferred, which is the company, one of the companies I represent, it's just a flat out yes. With USAA, it's a flat out yes. With State Farm and Farmers, it's yes, the coverage for a leak is hidden and concealed, but it has to be reported within 30 days. So if you don't see it for 30 days, then it's not counted as sudden and accidental anymore. How will they know how long it's been? Good question. Uh, <clears throat> they know that mold grows at a certain rate for a certain amount of time and so they start checking the mold in the walls and they know exactly how long it's been there 
And so that's how they determine how long that leak has been there. Wow. Yes. If, if you think there's not a way for them to figure something out as to how to not pay you, <laughs> there is a way that there they is figured a way. out. They drew a line the last time they were there. So the entire <laughs> industry is built around ways to, you know, what you. <laughs> and Farmers has coverage includes costs uh, to tear out and replace any portion of the foundation slab of the leak or to access, access the leak. When you talk about continuous and repeated, and this is the pin drop in a, in a pipe or something that you're not going to see for months and you're not going to see it until the whole wall is just ready to fall down for my company. Yes. For USA, it's not covered unless the, unless it occurs uh, less than 14 days. So you got to catch it within 14 days for farmers. It's not covered at all. It's not even, it's not even available by an uh, endorsement to the policy. It's just, they're not going to, you're not going to be covered at all. It's just that. So those commercials with all that nonsense, it's really nonsense, right? It's It's just ad ploys. Their smart plan is smart for them. Uh, (laughs) And with uh, State Farm, it is covered. But if you ever take that endorsement off your, if you don't add that endorsement at the beginning, when you first sign the policy, you can't add it later. And if you ever take it off, you can't ever add it back. So as soon as as soon as you take that off, I mean you're you're limiting your coverage. And they make it quite attractive for you to take that off because they'll save you two, three hundred dollars easily because they know that it's going to cost them in the long run if you keep that coverage on your policy. Mm. And it's my job just to make sure that like I like I tell everybody, it's my job to make sure that you're covered. And you're paying as little as possible. And so I always talk about coverage first because that's what really matters. Absolutely. Folks, you need to call Richard Tonic over at Goosehead Insurance. He can shop over 20 companies, figure out the best policy for you. As you can tell by this segment, he cares about you, and he's going to go through your situation and make sure you've got the best insurance coverage at all possible, of course, with the best price. RichardTAgency.com is the website. RichardTAgency.com is the website. Folks, short break. Come on back. If you have a timeshare, this time of year, you're probably thinking about those maintenance fees coming due. Hi, I'm Karen Holloway, owner of Lone Star Transfer, located right here in the DFW area. Before you pay your maintenance fees, call us for a free consultation, 972-722-3166. We'll get you out of your timeshare and put a stop to those maintenance fees, guaranteed. 972-722-3166 or LoneStarTransfer.com. Folks, it's Mike the Realtor here from Inside Real Estate. And if you're not listing your property with me, bottom line is you're leaving money on the table. There are over 15,000 agents here in the DFW area, most of whom are part-time and do a few deals a year. Do you want to trust them to sell your home? I think not. Call Mike the Realtor, the radio realty expert from Inside Real Estate on 570 AM KLIF. Promise you, you will get to me direct. Go to InsideRealEstateRadio.com. Um, don't sell your home with just anyone. Go to InsideRealEstateRadio.com and connect with Mike the Realtor. An important message from Medicare. I found a better deal on prescriptions. I found a new plan with lower costs. It's Medicare Open Enrollment. Have you compared plans yet? Who knows what you might find? Check out your options at Medicare.gov or call 1-800-MEDICARE. You never know unless you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Medicare Open Enrollment, October 15th through December 7th. Brought to you by the Department of Health and Human Services. And I really never get through everything that I'm talking about. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey, folks, we're back. Hey, Inside Real Estate Radio. Website's InsideRealEstateRadio.com, InsideRealEstateRadio.com. Hey, um, our folks, good folks over at Lone Star Transfer didn't make it into the studio, but I, I do want to uh, talk a little bit about timeshares and, um, you know, the horrible experiences that, you know, people have. Now, you know, I'm not here to bash timeshares because, you know, a lot of folks, you know, enjoy using their timeshare, and, and if that's you and you're enjoying it, then that's great. Uh, but by and large, so many people have gotten into a timeshare and it just hasn't worked for them. Either they got into it and they didn't really want to, um, you know, or they didn't know exactly what they were signing up for. And they thought, okay, well, maybe we'll use it a couple of years, you know, and then, you know, we'll get rid of it. 
Well, the thing is, it's that's not so easy. Uh, you can't get rid of a timeshare. Essentially, the contracts are darn near written in stone. And, of course, by the time you get through the timeshare presentation to where you're actually signing documents, you're so ready to get out of there. Uh, you, you just can't wait to sign your name and, and get out of there. So you don't know what you're signing. And you don't know that, uh, by and large, you know, uh, the, the largest percentage of contracts are written in a perpetual manner. Um, so that you can't get out of them and, uh, that you can't even stick to them under bankruptcy and get rid of them because they are a contract that you've signed for, uh, future, uh, and there's future billings to it. So even if you could get a bankruptcy judge to say yes to uh, getting rid of your past due, um, you can, can't get rid of it for the future billings. So, you still can't get rid of a timeshare in bankruptcy court. So that's how strongly written these contracts are, how ironclad they are. And of course, you know, when you die, well, guess what? You know, your uh, spouse or your next of kin or um, your heirs, um, you know, get forced into these things as well. And you're thinking, oh, well, how can that be? You know, and it's, well, what happens is, is, the timeshare company will hold up the settling of your estate. So, you know, let's say you pass away and, um, you know, the, the wife needs to, to, you know, get your estate, you know, settled. And, uh, and it, it doesn't really matter if you have well planned your estate or not. If you didn't think about the timeshare part of it, well, guess what? The spouse needs to take it over if she wasn't on there. Uh, if she was already on there, it's automatic. Now, okay, let's take that to the next step. Both parents pass away. Well, that estate will not be cleared uh, unless one of the heirs takes on the timeshare. And you're thinking, oh, my God, I've never thought about that. Well, you need to think about it because uh, that's going to cause a real problem for your family. You know, either the spouse, the next of kin, whoever is going to be settling your estate. Um, and that puts some real reality into it. And you need to think about it. Most people don't. Um, that's why I want you to talk to the folks at Lone Star Transfer, Brian and Karen Holloway, the owners of it. They're right here in the DFW area. I want you to talk to those guys. They will take care of you. LoneStarTransfer.com. Uh, and folks, we're running a little hard break here. Uh, come on back in a few. When I listen to Audible, I'm not cooking dinner for one. I'm on horseback, galloping across the Scottish moors towards my one true love. There, through the mist, I see my beloved, kilt flapping in the breeze. The fibers of his shirt struggle against his bulging muscles as he takes me from my horse and... My frittata! Go to audible.com slash act now and your first download is free. Audible. Stories that surround you. With over three and a half million square feet in five DFW locations, Ideal Floors has you covered for all your flooring needs. Whether you're looking for carpet, tile, laminate, wood, or vinyl plank, Ideal Floors has you covered. And with their price match guarantee and their 100% satisfaction guarantee, they are the absolute best in DFW for all your flooring needs. Call Kevin Hamus, the owner of Ideal Floors, at 214-789-0422 or go to idealfloors.com for all your flooring needs. The Richard Tonica Insurance Agency in Arlington has nearly unlimited resources when it comes to getting you the best insurance rates and policies for home, auto, and more. As part of the Goosehead Insurance brand, you, the consumer, have the power of choice through the Richard Tonica Insurance Agency network. Richard can quote over 20 A-rated companies to find the best fit for you, the best policy at the best price. Call Richard today at 817-286-2002. It's the Richard Tonica Goosehead Insurance Agency, 817-286-2002. Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor.
Hey, folks, thanks for coming back. Mike Krasinga, Inside Real Estate, website InsideRealEstateRadio.com. We've got another segment. We're talking with owner of Hydrojet Walk-In Tubs. We're going to talk a little bit of uh, veteran talk for you. So all you veterans out there, you know, veterans of foreign wars and, uh, you know, all you vets out there active or retired, hey, we are talking to you. You know, chances are, you know, you had some experiences while in the military or if you still are in the military and um, that, that maybe caused you some injuries. And, uh, you know, we love our veterans here and uh, we want to take care of our veterans. And a product that you maybe have never thought about is a hydrojet walk-in tub, which has uh, great benefits of hydrotherapy. And uh, in particular, if you have, you know, some mobility issues or or any injury that you sustained while in the military, uh, this is probably going to be a product that really can help you. A good friend of mine, uh, an Iraq veteran, uh, you know, younger guy, but he's still got shrapnel uh, in several parts of his body. In particular, his lower back often kills him but they took out as much as they can there's some pieces in there that they have to leave where they are and they he had to go through a lot of surgeries and um so even today he's he, he can't be as active as he wants to be but he, he he tries to be as active as he can um but he's, he's got some lower back issues and then he's got some issues with one of his legs and even for him, even though he's, you know, uh, a pretty young guy, Iraq veteran, um, this would be a great product for him. And um, so veterans, you know, listen to Randy here because we're going to talk about this product and how a great benefit this could be for you uh, to help you out. Yeah, and I want to say, Mike, too, that uh, you don't necessarily have to be like your friend that has all these injuries with shrapnel and stuff like that. If you are a veteran I believe I can help you. And by help you, I mean help you get one of one of these tubs. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be disabled. I don't even think you have to have mobility issues. Okay? There is a grant for veterans. And ironically enough, veterans that have served this country and helped to keep us free from, you know, all kinds of outside forces over the years, you know, even though they've served for us, they happen to be one of the most underserved markets that there is right and in my industry walk-in tubs the reason for that is really pretty simple to get them this grant that i'm talking about takes about six months well nobody wants to go through the government bureaucracy of all that paperwork you also have to get three bids well you you know a, a commission salesperson doesn't want two other people coming out they might be better than him and talk them into buying their tub that sort of thing exactly and then you don't make any commission today mm -hmm. and my solution to that is i need your business whether it's today next week next month or six months from now i want your business my number one objective is to help you so i don't have any problem handling that six month process doing all that paperwork and i have paperwork from competitors that i can write bids on you know, blank paperwork from competitors. So you really don't have to do anything. I'll take the chaos out of it for you and handle it from from A to Z. So if you're a veteran, I can get we can get you what's called a HISA grant. H I S A. That stands for Home Improvement Structural Alteration Alteration. It's a sixty eight hundred dollar grant. It's not a loan. You don't pay it back. It's $6,800. That's thank you for your service, okay? Mm -hmm. That's one of the few things the VA will do for you. But it takes someone that knows how to manipulate the paperwork, or manipulate maybe not is not a good word, but how to get around all the loopholes right. and process, do it all. Yeah, how to process all the, all the paperwork to get through the government procedures to get this HISA grant. It, it's very time-consuming. It's why all of your competitors, you know, if you – if you were someone who were interested in this type of thing and you knew about it because you heard about it on our radio show and you went to a competitor, they would either say they don't do it or you wouldn't qualify or they'd make something up because they don't want to deal with it. Because like you say, it takes about six months, but they're not, they don't care about your best interest. They care about getting a sale from you right now. And if they can't get a sale from you right now, well, then they don't want to talk to you. 
What they'll tell you, Mike, what they'll tell you, Mike, is this. It happens every single day. You're a veteran. You've got this paperwork. You think you qualify for this grant, and you present it to someone who comes out to show you a tub. And they will tell you, oh, yeah, we'll help you get that. Let's go ahead and get you your tub, get it installed so you can be enjoying the benefits of the tub now. And it takes five or six months to get it done. And then when you get your grant money, you can just apply it to the purchase of the tub. That sounds great. It just happens to not be true. Mm -hmm. You have got to get the grant approved and funded before you install the tub or the VA will not give you the money. So don't listen to those people that tell you, just put it in. That that won't work. They're doing that because they want to get paid a commission today. Yeah, they want I'm to get telling you the right thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you're going to go through the process. You you know the competition inside and out. You know what their bidding prices are. You you know what they charge for all of their products. You have those bids already in house. So going through this whole process, yes, it's going to take a little bit of time. But but that is not Randy's process. It's the government process. He's willing to negotiate that process for you to get you this sixty eight hundred dollar HISA grant to take care of you. Because, hey, guess what? You served this country. If you're active, maybe you're still serving this country. And Randy appreciates that. I appreciate that. And Randy's going to do the right thing. He's going to get you taken care of. And and like you said, you know, it's not just for those veterans who have a disability or have injuries. Uh, you know, it's for all veterans. You know, so if you're fairly unscathed veteran or you didn't see active duty, you know, hey, that is okay, too. You still served your country. You still qualify for this grant. And it's a great product, the HydroJet walk-in tub. And it's, you know, it, it, it applies to all ages. You know, obviously, it's a product you need more, you know, as you, as you advance in age. Because we've gone through st- the statistics before, 87% over 65 will have a fall. Of those 87%, uh, 25% will die if you can believe that so this is a great product that you want to have uh, as you're uh, advancing in age or particularly if you have a mobility issue but all veterans we've got you taken care of Uh, all you all you got to do is just give randy a call go to his website first hydrojetwalkintubs.com review all of his information review the video on how his product is made right here in america Uh, unlike other companies that claim so his is 100 percent assembled parts of america made in america assembled america the full deal and then once you review all that information give randy a call he's going to take care of you hey folks we've had another great segment with randy addington over at hydrojet walk in tubs we're going to take a short break then we're going to come on back see you in a few <laughs> 